Right, in this lesson we're going to have a look at cypress trees and poplar trees. And you can see from this photograph that we've got the cypress tree here. Here's the poplar tree that you see that adorns many of those long straight French roads. And you can see the shape of them is pretty similar. They're both fairly tall and slender and cigar shaped. The cypress tree is slightly darker and more bluey green. Whereas the poplar tree is slightly more open, slightly more raggedy and more of a dull olive green. I'm going to have a look at the cypress tree first and what I've done is mixed a mix of phthalo blue and cadmium yellow and I've put a little bit of raw umber in and that's given us that slightly darker colour there. The lighter colour is for almost the highlights on the tree, the sunny side of the tree, but in practice much of the tree will be that dark and what we'll also do is to add another slightly darker mix again for the insides of the tree where the sun don't shine. Right now this is something we can normally knock off without bothering to draw. So, and if you have a look at these, you can see they naturally grow, well obviously they grow out of the ground, but you can see that it's a very upright tree and it's very easy to visualize which way the leaves grow because they, they all grow and overlap each other from the ground upwards. So that's what we're going to replicate when we come to paint it. I'm just dragging that around. They're quite a smooth outline. Now they're not always that tall and narrow. Sometimes you might get something that's it's about like people really. You get some things that are tall and narrow and some cypress trees just like people that are short and fat like that. Either way the same technique applies. Now we'll assume that the sun is coming from the left so if I just go into this lighter green on the left hand side it won't take an awful lot just to create some nice highlights on the tree. But that's a very very simple tree to produce. What I'm going to do is just add one or two you can see with the cadmium yellow and the, and the green that's already on the brush and just lift one or two of those highlights a little bit more even. We must just put a little hint of the tree trunk in the base like that. There's very very little tree trunk actually shows. If you have a look at the photograph you can see that the trees virtually grow from the leaves or the leaf clusters grow from the ground upwards so there's hardly any trunk to worry about. So we'll just reflect that and then what we'll do is finish off with a little stroke of shadow on these two trees. Let's have a look at the poplar now because for the poplar tree we're going to make quite a different mix. I'm going to make a mix of the cadmium yellow and I'm going to use the ultramarine blue. You can see the difference right away. You see that's a much greener blue because it's got the phthalo blue which tends towards the green side of the uh, spectrum whereas the ultramarine blue tends towards the red side of the spectrum. Same idea, we'll mix a little bit of raw umber to the mix for the shadows. If we have a quick look, you can see the trunk is a sort of a, a light brown colour tends to be fairly straight with these large branches moving off but pointing upwards. Although the branches come off at the base it's not quite as low down normally as the cypress. Right I'm going to use the number two or the number one round brush for this. Uh, I could have used the same filbert brush but I want a slightly more raggedy effect and as I'm going to be pushing upwards I'm just going to be making that sort of movement so that it actually spreads the hairs and spreads the paint. So we're going to pick up first of all some of that colour. I'm going to imagine where the trunk is around here and I'm going to all the time I'm imagining getting towards the top of this tree and using the texture of the canvas to hit and miss. What I'll do before I go any further I think I'll just add in with a little bit of the raw umber and a little bit of white 
and we'll just just stab hit and miss effect with some of these branches like that it's a very similar color in a way to the, the tree itself so it's not going to be too prominent but we'll we'll put some lighter colors in in a moment or two now this is this is really going to stand out that's better now you can see just by stabbing in gently with that paint on the end of the brush how that really comes to life okay and that's all but done now just perhaps a few little bits and pieces of a slightly darker color there on that side to give it a bit of depth let's just leave it as it is and say that that's how simple it is to produce the poplar tree <laughs>